Hey, this is Mikey Borup, and I'm so excited to show you my brand new presets that are available right now for sale. Let me show you what they are. The first one I want to show you is called CRT Distress. Now, CRT is for cathode ray tube, as in those old TVs. Let me show you what it can do. So I have here some footage of my beautiful little daughter playing in the leaves. So I want to make this look like, you know, a really bad distressed old VHS or something like that. So, right here in the presets, Mikey's effects, and it's called, and let me just move this over, CRT Distress. Mikey's CRT Distress. I'm going to drag this and drop it right on. So first it adds some scan lines, and we can take those off or change them, and let me show you how it works. So over here, these are all the things that control the preset and make it work. So right here, these scan lines, you don't really have to worry about that, so let's just close that down. Okay, so scan line size. Right here, I have it set on 5, but you can change this to 10, and it gets thicker. And one thing that it does is, as it gets thicker, the line gets a little bit blurry on the edge, so it's not such a harsh line. Makes it look a little nicer. Let's put that back on 5. Okay. So that's the scan line, and you can simply turn that on and off by just hitting that button right there, that effect button. Turns it on and off. The next one is offset. Now what this does is pretty darn cool. So let's open up these three offset components. First one is just the offset amount, and I can take this, and it'll offset it like this. I'm sure you've probably seen an old... TV that kind of looks like this, like it's not quite tracking in right. The second one is offset intensity. And what this is, it's, it's more of a jiggle. So if we do this and we watch it, it's kind of jiggling back and forth. So what we could do, let me just zoom onto my timeline, is we can have it jiggle for a while and then we can keyframe this offset amount. Let's go forward a little bit and then slide it all the way complete rotation. So as we watch it jiggling then it goes through and then it continues to jiggle. That's pretty cool. Now we can keyframe all of this we can keyframe the intensity. So right here, maybe we want it to be more intense as it's going through. So we keyframe the intensity, and then we bring it back down. And we got a kind of a cool looking Just a, a chaotic looking mess right there. Okay, so the next one is displacement. And we've got intensity and frequency. So let's open those up. Now, let's bring up the intensity. Not a lot's going on because the frequency is at zero. So let's turn up the frequency and you can see. Now that looks like really old crappy footage. And that's what I want. So let's mix all of these things together. Let's bring up the intensity on that. And let's bring that intensity a little bit down on the displacement. So you can put it on footage, and as you can see, I just applied it to that one layer. Now we can also apply it to adjustment layers. So let's hide this. So now we have multiple objects here. And so what we do is we go to New, Adjustment Layer, and then on the Adjustment Layer, we put the Distress Filter. And all these same things will work. So let's go in and see, you can already see the scan lines are there. And let's do the Offset Intensity. And it's shaking. Now let's do the displacement
pretty darn cool. Okay, so that's CRT Distress. Works with adjustment layers, works with single footage, you name it. Let's go to our next one. It's called Split. So here I have this same footage of my daughter, and let's take this Mikey Split and put it right on there. Now, this one was built around a 1920 by 1080 image. It works for everything, you just have to reset it. So this is 720p footage, so that's why it's a little bit funny. So how, what you do to reset it is you go into the effects control and right there where it says split position, just click reset and it resets everything. So this is how it works. We have this color split select. You can choose a cyan red split. Now this is a chromatic aberration. You can choose a cyan red split, a magenta and green, or a yellow and blue. On this one, I want to use a cyan and red. And how I do that is right there where it says source layer one, I just click on the source layer. Now, if I grab this point selector, I can move it around and you can see there's a chromatic aberration and you've got cyan and red. Now, if I were to turn this off, and then go to the green, and you've got magenta and green. Now you've got yellow and blue. Pretty darn cool. I like cyan and red. Now, some of the options in this. Right here, auto scale. So when you when you split footage like this, it moves it and then it's not covering up the whole frame. So if I take off auto scale, you can see right here, there's a little black and it's not covering up both right there. And the, and the further I go, the more that happens. And that's just the nature of moving footage around like this. So I've included an auto scale checkbox where I can just check that and it'll auto scale it. So that way, it got it, it has this kind of this cool scaling movement and you don't have the black around it now so you can choose if you want to use the auto scale or not I have it on by default now again with this one we can use it with multiple objects let's turn that off let's create a new solid now with this one again you use a adjustment layer and let's on the adjustment layer put on the split filter now again I need to go reset this because it was set for 1080 this was on 720 now with this you do the same thing you pick your source and I want to pick the adjustment layer don't pick anything else just pick the adjustment layer and then there's one more thing you have to do and that is you take all of the layers in here and then you parent them to the adjustment layer. And when you do that, then the auto scale is going to work fine and everything's going to move. So let's take this point selector, and then you can see, you can see how everything is working really cool together. Now, I bet you're asking, what does it look like when you add split? and CRT Distress together into one video. Well, I'm here to tell you it looks pretty darn cool. And how you do that is with another adjustment layer. So let me get a new adjustment layer. And now let's add the Distress to that one. Immediately you can see the scan lines. Now let's go in and add a little bit of intensity to the displacement and the frequency. Let's add some offset. And you can see how cool that looks with both those together. So those are my new presets. So that's Mikey's Split and Mikey's CRT Distress. They're on sale right now, $9.99 a piece. If you buy them together as a bundle, you can get them for $14.99. All you have to do is click on the links right here on this video. It'll take you right to the buy page or you can click on the links in the description. Thanks, and we'll see you later.